Sunshine with us. We've got Ken Get Right with us. Mike's gonna race in the last man standing. We thought about trying it, but not too close right now with the way the car is. We had a first time out with it, got everything back together. We're just hoping it makes an A to B pass. Actually, I think I'm hoping it just makes A pass at this point right now. Gonna have to kind of excuse the wind. It's a little windy out here today. The temperature's nice, atmosphere's nice. I mean, the elevation's like 600 feet. So everything's pretty much perfect the way we want it. Uh, we're gonna get out here and make a few passes. Mike's gonna make this pass first. And we're gonna come back here, get a sunshine, go up there, get a test sit in, and we'll kind of decide from there what we want to do. But we'll catch up with you guys right here in just a second when we finish. Guys, that was a good first hit. Nice and clean, straight down the track. Nice A to B pass. Carried the front wheels out a little bit, set them down soft. Did a little bit of an unload when the wheels came down, but other than that, I mean, we'll consider that a success. We'll take that all day long. How'd it feel? Well, it looked good from out here. I mean, as far as the way it came up and set back down, it sounded like you got a little bit of spin when the front end, when the front end came back down. Yeah, that's a... Really? Yeah. Like it. yeah, it carried the wheels good. That's what I'm saying. It looked good when you took off. It carried when it sat down. It kind of sounded like it just unloaded the back end just a little bit. Didn't know if that was you pedaling or if that was just the car coming down. Think you just overrid it? Yeah. How'd the track feel? That's the first time I've ever heard seven with that. I waved the ball up. Oh, really? Yeah, it scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys, first pass. Have no clue. All we want is a good clean. up the bar. what's going on. 
little sucker shock messed up, guys. Well, that's a, it's the track in itself. Popped a wheelie. Oh, it left right. <laughs> I felt it from inside. As soon as I felt it dig in the back, I was like, really? It's not the bar, it's the actual bracket. Really? Yeah, oh. I felt the actual thing across there. So. It was biting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap, it did. When I saw this end come up and that go back, I was like, dang it. <laughs> I knew where I feel. God, it was wanting to leave. It was, dude. It was wanting to leave hard. Oh, shit. <laughs> dang. Almost with the hard left in the middle of the track. Yeah. I tried to get back in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, here's our problem again. As you can see, this bracket bent. Now that we got it all together and hooking to make it some power. If it ain't one thing, it's another. I mean, it's not a hard fix. The bars are still good. The hinds are still good. Everything we weld on the front is still solid. Mike said it would never go anywhere. <laughs> and it didn't, so... It didn't go straight. It didn't go straight at all. <laughs> Gosh, it felt so good. Fine, felt good. There was no reluctant wheel. No, one. like I said, the motor ran great. The motor ran great. We didn't blow ahead because no, everything's still together. So, oh well, guys. I mean, hey, I mean, it happens. We still got Mike's car here. He's making good passes, so we're gonna jump on his. I mean, there's no time wasting on this. He's gonna try to run this event. At least I think he's gonna try to run this event. If not, hey, he's running. We're gonna help him out all we can. We'll put this back on the trailer here in a little bit. Get to working on it when we get home, but I, I mean, I'm happy. I mean, I sucks it broke, but I'm happy that motor ran great. It was on the pass. It was leaving hard. So, we're just going to jump over here and start working on his, guys. You change anything this time, you're just going to drive it out. Yeah, I'm just going to drive it out. Yeah, kind of it Otherwise, everything else is the same. Drive it. Tire pressure and everything. <laughs> nice! Yeah. Hey, it's in the other side over there. Passenger side. All right, guys, we're gonna run up here, make pass number two. We can't get right. Trying to get it back down where it was the first time we made the pass. We were out here that very first day. If we can do that, that's right there where we need to be for this little race we got going on here. It's got a 510 cap on it and a 515 cap. I Means they flip the coin between each round to see which one it's gonna be. So. We're right there right now. We just want to make sure you give us a little insurance to get a little more out of it. Look at that, guys. Here we go. <laughs> you got your bedroom closet in here. <laughs> Look at you got your bedroom closet in here. In case it gets cold at the end of the track. Yep. second pass nice solid second pass a to b straight down the track shift seemed to be a little bit better car held a little better went straight down that's all you could ask for don't know much if you'll do anything else to that i mean i think it's pretty much set where it needs to be little tweaks here and there but i think it's pretty much where he wants to be for this little flash run he's going to do so it feel worse or yeah but way slower it looked good going down the track they went way slower yeah I don't know. I think it might be tough for plugs, maybe. What plugs are you running? I've got a set of nines. I, I got some. Yeah, I'm afraid to. Uh, they loaded up on the two-step? Uh, yeah, I kinda, It kind of spit a little bit when you're up on the two-step, but it sounded clean going down the track. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't make, I didn't make any boots. 
Did you notice that that blow off valve was open in here? It again. Was it doing it while you're in the two step? Or could you tell? Nick broke it. I broke it again. <laughs> Injector maintenance. Is it just number one not firing? 1,001. I think it's just the injector thing. The problem was you spent good money for them. Uh, did it make it all the way down? <laughs> make it all the way down to the ground? So this is this is what you're going to clean your $2,000 injectors with? Yeah. Right <laughs> it's already got some oxidation on it. Yeah. Injector Cleaner 101, Krusty O's Sky Sprite. All right, guys, thank you. Is it open? Not that's gummed up or anything? Uh, it's hard to tell without that. It's not that scope to open. Uh oh. It looks... I don't have a little magnifying glass either. Yeah, I got my glass. one little clean spot of still. Ooh, what? Buddy, don't you get tired of doing this? Me? Yeah. No. He's, he's working on transmission. You can do it all day long and come out here and do it too. <laughs> he's back on the motor and he's happy now. Yeah. And for free. Oh, don't mind me, Dad. All right, guys, don't forget. You got a job, Steve. You got 30 minutes. Nice. All right, guys, gonna do a plug swap real quick. Just as a precaution insurance. Ever getting the heat on it? 270, 300, that's like 100. Right. I say, I think it may just be a bad plug or a bad wire. Can you tell us your scientific assessment of that? <laughs> All we did is swap wires. That's it. Maybe maybe just had a bad contact on it. That's it. All right, guys, got to figure it out. Got everything working right. Just a loose plug. So I don't want to hear nothing about plugs. <laughs> Had a couple little issues on it, guys. We got to figure it out now. We should get up the staging lanes, try to make another hit. Air temperatures drop probably 10 degrees. Uh, Elevation's about 200 feet. So I mean, it's a perfect storm right now. Good rock and roll. We turned it up just a little bit. What do you say? You put a couple more in the gate. Okay. Got to try to make 20, 21 pounds. Got a couple more in the gate. Uh, Shouldn't be hitting a scramble button or anything like that. We're gonna jump the lanes, guys. got an issue here with the hey, boost controller actually ready, wasn't coming ready, on or it was blanking the sir, screen out.
next time going up there. inside the car can you see it yeah from behind i mean it took off good and once it hit about the 100 foot mark it just took off i forgot to turn the intercooler pump on nice i bet that water's still cold back there <laughs> <laughs> damn cold I mean, you, didn't say, you didn't turn the intercooler on or nothing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to break your thing on and we said this in hey just take your time <laughs> too much yeah. I just thought the same thing. I was like, oh, he's doing He's just comfortable. Here we go. Yeah. No, you heard it. Once it came up popping on the two step and everything sounded good, once it left, it was like, this thing's on a pass. I wonder if I need a two step up. What are you leaving at? I mean, it can handle more. I mean, it didn't even try as far as out of the hole. It's not like it was an issue at all as far as it can handle more. Should I be happy with that? It made a pass, clean. Everything got working. Yeah, nothing's on the trailer leaning sideways or anything like that. Call that a win. All right, guys, we're able to get one more pass on his. Made a good run. Made a couple of good runs tonight. Got all the bugs figured out. Now it's just doing fine tuning, five tweak and stuff like that. Sunshine's hurt again. I mean, I'm not complaining. I ain't worried about it. The motor ran good. All the work we've done in the past few videos has paid off. It's making power now. And if that's a problem making power, I'll take that all day long. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll get you guys in the next one.